Hello everyone, welcome to our new lecture. Now in this lecture we are going to see the construction of quadrilateral if the dimension of the three sides and the dimension of one of the di and the dimension of two diagonals are given to us. In the previous lecture we have seen the construction of quadrilateral where the dimension of four sides of the quadrilateral was given and dimension of one diagonal was given but here we will have the length of three sides and two diagonals okay now let us see how we can construct if the given data have the dimension of three sides and two diagonals so i write down the question construct quadrilateral w x y z construct quadrilateral w x y z such that y z is equal to 4 cm z x is equal to 6 cm w x is equal to 4.5 cm z w is equals to 5 cm and y w is equal to 6.5 cm okay so here we have the dimension of three sides okay that is y z z w and w x and we have the dimension of two diagonals that is x z and y w okay so let us draw first the rough figure now i don't know what will be the shape of this quadrilateral so i will draw just simply a quadrilateral okay that is x y z and w so we have the quadrilateral w x y z okay where we have the dimension of y z is equal to 4 cm okay then z x is the diagonal and the length of this diagonal is 6 cm okay then w x it is 4.5 cm okay z w it is 5 cm okay and y w it is 6.5 centimeter so we have the given data now let us draw this quadrilateral and for drawing this for drawing this quadrilateral what i am going to do i am going to consider two triangles that is this triangle y z w and this triangle that is z x w okay so i am going to draw these two triangles and by that i will get the required quadrilateral now i will consider z w as the base for these two triangles y z w and triangle z x w okay so z w the length of z w is 5 cm so i am going to mark okay i am going to draw a line of 5 cm over here okay so so this is the length 5 cm and this is my z w which is 5 cm okay now first I will draw the triangle ZXW and the length of these two triangles okay the side length of the sides we have that is ZX 6 cm and XW 4.5 cm. So what I am going to do I am going to mark down the dimension of 4.5 cm in the compass okay so 4.5 So this is 4.5 and xw is 4.5 so i will point the pointer on w 
and I will draw an arc, okay, like this. I have got an arc now. Now Zx is 6 cm, so I am going to take the length of 6 cm in the compass. Okay, and I will draw an another arc from point Z. Okay, and that arc is going to intersect the previous arc. In that case, the intersection of the arc has given us a point. Okay, and that point is nothing but X. So I am going to join the point X and point W. Okay, which is 4.5 centimeter and I am going to join the point X and Z and which is 6 centimeter. Okay, now similarly we will draw triangle YZW. Okay, and for that we have the length of YZ that is 4 centimeter. So, I will mark the length of 4 cm okay, in the compass and I will draw an arc okay, for YZ from, from point Z. Okay. So, this is an arc. Now, I will take the distance of YW which is 6.5 cm in the compass. And I will draw the another arc but from point W. Again I have got an intersection of these two arcs and this is my point Y. Now I will join point Y and point Z and the length of this side is 4 cm. Then I will join the point Y and W which is my diagonal. Okay, and we have the length of YW that, that is 6.5 centimeter. Okay. Now we can easily join the point Y and W. Sorry, Y and X. Okay. And in this way we have drawn the quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z. Okay. So the process is simple, just we have to note down the rough figure first, okay. By drawing the rough figure, we will get an idea of how we can construct this quadrilateral, okay. We were having the three sides, okay. We were having the dimension of three sides and two diagonals and we have used those dimensions, okay, to draw, to draw two triangles that is X, Z, W and y z w and after drawing these two triangles we have got okay the distance between y and x which we have joined and by thus we have completed the quadrilateral okay the construction of the quadrilateral so this was the another method okay where we can construct a quadrilateral and this construction can be done okay if we have the length of three sides and two diagonals now let us see the another method okay where we will have the length of two adjacent sides and we will also have the measurement or the angles of the quadrilateral okay so we are going to have dimension of two sides and three angles so let us see how we can construct the quadrilateral if we have this type of data now the another method where we will have okay the dimension of two adjacent sides okay so two adjacent sides and we will have the dimension of three angles okay so this is the method number three now let us see how we can construct a quadrilateral with the help of an example. So the example is construct quadrilateral 
एल ई एफ टी सच दैट ई एल इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर ई एफ इज इक्वल टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर ओके एंड द एंगल्स आर गिवन टू अस दैट इज मेजर एंगल एल इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री मेजर एंगल ई इज इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड डिग्री एंड मेजर एंगल एफ इज इक्वल्स टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज ओके सो दिस इज द गिवन डेटा नरेड एस सी how we can construct a quadrilateral by using this data so first of all we will draw the rough figure again we don't know what is the shape of this quadrilateral okay we will just draw randomly any kind of shape so we have the quadrilateral that is l e f t okay the length of le is given that is 4.5 cm and length of ef is given 5.5 cm angle l is equal to 60 degree angle e is equal to 100 degrees and angle f is equals to 120 degree okay so this is the rough figure now the base of this quadrilateral i will consider le okay so le is 4.5 cm so i am going to draw this length of le that is 4.5 cm okay so l e which is 4.5 cm okay now we are going to use the protector okay which is helpful for drawing the angles on any point of the line okay so we have the major angle l is equal to 60 degree so i am going to place the protector okay on the point l properly and then i will mark the angle of 60 degree okay so this is 60 degree and i will draw a ray okay now i am not going to draw the side lt directly okay as we don't have any length okay as we don't have the dimension of lt so we cannot construct or we cannot plot the point t directly so i have drawn an draw a ray okay now i will name this ray as lm okay then we have the angle e which is 100 degrees so i am going to take the protector again now i will place this protector on point e okay and i will take the angle of 100 degrees which is over here okay this is over here so this is the 100 degree angle and again i am going to draw a ray okay and i will name this ray as e n now we have the length of ef and that is 5.5 cm so what i am going to do i am going to take the distance of 5.5 cm on the compass and i will draw an arc on this ray en okay from point e so first of all i will take the i will take the distance of 5.5 cm okay so this is 5.5 cm i will place the pointer of the compass on point e and i will draw an arc on this ray en okay now this particular point of intersection of arc and the ray is my point f this is the point f and the dimension of ef is 5.5 cm okay now we have the angle okay which is there on the point f which is 120 degree so again i will place the compass 
okay properly aligned and on the point f okay and then i will take an angle okay of 120 degrees so here we have angle of 120 degree and then i will join okay, i will draw an draw a ray from this point f so unfortunately we have the intersection of this ray on point m okay so let it be we will name this point as point T. Okay, this is my point T and this is the angle 120 degrees. Okay, so again in this way we have constructed, okay, the quadrilateral LEFT. What we have done? First of all, we have drawn the side LE which is 4.5 centimeter. Then we have taken an angle of 60 degree on the point L. Okay, so angle L has been drawn first. Okay, so we have got a ray and I will name this ray as LM. Okay, then we have drawn the another ray from point E. Okay, and we have taken the angle that is 100 degrees. Okay, and we have named this ray as EN. Then the dimension of EF was given to us which was 5.5 centimeter. So we have taken the distance of 5.5 centimeter in the compass. And then we have plot an arc on ray EN. Okay, the intersection of the ray and the arc has given us point F. Okay, and on that point I have taken an angle of 120 degree. We got the another ray, suppose FS. Okay, and then the intersection of this ray FS and the ray LM has given us the point T. Okay, and thus we have completed our construction of the quadrilateral LEFT. Okay, so in this way we have constructed the quadrilateral. If we have the dimension of two adjacent sides, okay, these are the adjacent sides and the dimension of three angles. So I hope that you have understand the construction, okay, by these two methods. In the next lecture, we are going to see the last method of constructing a quadrilateral, okay, if we are provided with certain dimensions of the quadrilateral. Okay, so for this lecture your homework will be the questions are given in the description. There are two questions. One question will be related to the first method that we have studied today and the another question is going to be on the basis of this method. Okay, uh, please try to understand the process completely and apply those processes for your homework questions. Okay, so in the next lecture we will see the another method. Until then. Goodbye.